How you doing, AP? John Stewart, this is Mr. Clifford. It's time for ACDC Economics. We're talking about growth, economic growth. What I have right here is the aggregate demand, aggregate supply, it's currently at full employment, and I have a production possibilities curve showing you this point and that point of the same idea, full employment output. Okay, my question is simple. If there's an increase in investment, what's going to happen to aggregate demand, aggregate supply, and eventually longer aggregate supply if there's an increase in investment, net investment? What I want you to do is I want you to draw the shift that occurs up here and see if you can figure out what does it look like down here on the production possibilities curve. I'll get out of your way. Good luck. Okay. Now, the first step is always remembering that investment is not stocks and bonds, your parents' retirement. Investment is when companies take out loans and they improve their own company. They go out and buy machinery and stuff like that. And so the first thing you already know is aggregate demand is going to increase. The reason why aggregate demand is going to go up is because investment is a shifter of aggregate demand, right? So the first thing that's happened is the companies are going to demand more machinery. They're going to buy more and more robots and more tools and more other things they need for their factories and to produce stuff, all right? Increase in aggregate demand. Now, don't stop though. When there's an increase in capital, when there's more machinery and there's more robots and things to produce stuff, what happens to the aggregate supply? Well, that is also going to increase. So aggregate supply is going to shift to the right because now we can produce more stuff. So we just went from here to here, and now we are here. Next question is, what happens to the long run aggregate supply? The answer, it's going to go up. This is called economic growth. The reason why the long run aggregate supply increases is because now we can produce more than we ever could before. The new output that we're going to produce in the long run is now greater than it was before because now we have more machinery, more capital, more tools. Now if that makes sense here, from let's say point A to point B, how do you show it here? Well, it's simple, A to B. Now, remember back in Unit 1, the production possibilities curve shows what we're able to produce, right? Point B was impossible before. Just like being out here was impossible. We couldn't maintain a GDP that's out here. But, right, when we have more machines, more capital, we can actually get to somewhere that was unattainable, and now that's our, our full employment. All right, the concept of the long and aggregate supply shifting to the right is just the same as the production possibilities curve shifting out. Okay, hopefully it makes sense. Until next time.